On the first page of the fourth issue of the SVC Chaos comic, uh, we see Genjuro and Iori. Uh, at the top of, uh, p then it moves over to the top of a pagoda. We see some, I don't even know what these are, blossoms. Genjuro's waxing or waning. And he's on top of a, uh, what looks like, I couldn't even describe these, uh, the cliff, uh, stalag, stalagmites, I guess you want to call them. It's very similar to Castlevania here, where he's looking over the, the countryside, the valley, the pagoda. He seems to be doing some sort of ceremony, uh, he's cleaning his sword, and then it almost appears that he's trying to cut himself. He does cut himself. He's not committing suicide so much as he, it's a ceremony type deal, drawing blood. Um, here we have Iori. The scene switches to Iori, bloody from the last episode. Vega's jumping down from his shuttle, screaming, looks angry. Uh, clenching his fists, there's um, some kind of tanks with a with doctor. I guess he captured Iori and, Iori and is using him as some form of doll like Cammy. That's the, the secret P project in the form of Mr. Iori Yagami. Vega's floating over his uh, Thailand palace uh, from the movie, might I add, from the Street Fighter 2 movie. Then. He's uh, poetically looking at uh, Iori, Iori's visage. I guess he has big plans for him. Uh, he goes to grab him. I don't know. I don't know what's quite going on here. Is he in the tank or isn't he in the tank? Then he disappears. He escapes Vega's grasp. Gra Vega's clenching his fist. He's pissed off, and somehow it ends up back in the street. Nothing really makes sense in this comic book as far as the story is concerned. I'm starting to understand. Uh, his fist is going. This is a great picture right here. <laughs> his psycho glow. And he's back in the street telling Chun Li to go screw or laughing at him. Laughing at her. Jumps in his shuttle. Takes off. Chun Li's pissed off. Uh, Vega goes into the abyss with his shuttle, I guess. And then we see a fireball. Uh, approaching the pagoda. I guess one of the magical unibo unicorn boys have whisked Iori away for another battle, for another encounter in Crash Lands. And he's at the base of the stairs of what seems to be a, a tribute to one of the Samurai Showdown levels. <laughs> Iori's laughing hysterically. Ha 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 ha. This end. It flashes to Dimitri for some reason, uh, thinking about Vega, uh, not Vega, uh, Takuma and Akuma. Then it moves over to Iori, standing on top of the Statue of Liberty. This episode, th this issue really doesn't make as much sense as the last ones, the last few. Then uh, we have a, very s a scene here similar to Samurai Showdown, where Genjiro's standing and sitting under a tree. Uh, he pulls out his sword, and Iori gets shocked, but realizes it's just a kitten. Patting the cat, Genjiro makes his approach to the to the pagoda to the stairs. Yori's there. Cat runs away. There's this tension in the air, and then Genjiro can be seen at the top of the stairs. This this scene right here is bomb. This is this is what it's all about. It looks very sinister. Like his uh, ceremony has paid off. They're standing now. That they're standing in a very uh, duelesque or you know cowboy fashion towards each other, waiting for one person to make the move. Genjiro makes the first move, takes a swipe, s cuts Yori's chest. Yori's gathering his energy. Uh, Yori's doing his dragon punch here in the bottom right panel. Genjiro's blocking it. This this is a great fight. These these two are definitely on par with each other because Genjiro is to what Samurai showed on what Yori is to King of Fighters as far as being the nemesis to the main character and hating the hero. He's licking his blade, Yori throws his fire on the ground. In, in response, Genjiro whips his cards, there's a clash of energy. He's laughing. Then uh, Yori's making a move for Genjiro with uh, his, his uh, energy fist. And there's some massive swipe. He cuts, it looks like he's cutting off. Genjiro's doing his super, or his, his ultra, whatever you want to call it. And he's cutting off uh, Yori's arm. Yori loses his arm, but still has his left hand, which he's trying to gather energy on. This looks like his fallen hand, and uh, he, 
looks like, it looks like here Iori's doing his ultra where he makes the, the tower of energy. Iori's doing his super, what have you. Uh, where he, um, you know, he, he gra grabs the guy and creates that, that big spire of energy. And then uh, Genjiro seems to be handling it no problem. There seems to be burnt footprints in the ground. Iori's, oh, he looks awakened. The Iroki looks awakened. Genjiro's shocked. It's, it's very DBZ where like one guy thinks he's winning and he's laughing and all of a sudden the other guy gets up and it's not even close to being over. Then uh, Genjiro fights off the energy with his own energy. He seems to, Genjiro seems to be the, the winner in this fight. I mean he's cut the crap out of Iori. He's uh, repeatedly slashing at him then he sticks the sword right into him but it's not coming out his back. Then we move over to the planes very similar to Super Street Fighter 4. Uh, the Eclipse level, but it just appears to be the Serengeti. Kyo's walking around, and then Vega descends, giving him a stare. A ten mile stare, ten yard stare, and then he just gets right near him. I don't really like this picture. I don't I don't feel Vega's been conveyed properly. He's he's sort of like the Alpha Vega where he's all fat. I prefer the um, the CVS SVC type of Vega where he's like smaller, almost he, he's more Asian and more and more just sinister like quiet he doesn't smile as much i feel that the scale of these two characters is off and that concludes issue four